journalist Concha Calleja commented in the program, Fiesta, that the health of the Princess of Wales is much more serious than the palace is presently presenting. Concha Calleja is a Spanish journalist with ties to royal aides. In a program on Spanish television, she shared details she had learned. According to her information, Catherine had surgery back in late December. The last time she was seen by the palace staff was at a Christmas meal, after which she felt very ill. On December 28th, she was rushed to the hospital where she underwent surgery. The operation seemed to be successful, but then something happened in the post-operative period. There were complications. The situation worsened to the point where the palace had to make an announcement about the surgery. The surgery, however, turned out to be quite serious. Catherine will spend a couple weeks in the hospital, and then she will need a few more months to recover. Reportedly, the princess will miss official events until at least Easter. By the way, seconds of video and photos of a small motorcade rushing to the hospital can be found online. Poster writes that someone from the royal family was being carried. Concha continued, The statement reporting on Catherine was so ambiguous that it tells us almost nothing but scares us. Furthermore, Calleja confirmed that even though the British royal house is very ambiguous about its official statements, everyone would be very concerned about Kate's condition. I think the palace will issue a new statement in the coming days that will better explain what is going on. In addition, Concha assures that she knows what kind of surgery the Princess of Wales had, clarifying that the surgery was serious. It's definitely not cosmetic, as some whistleblowers wrote. It is something urgent, lasting several hours and involving some risk. Just as strange is the fact that so far the Princess of Wales has only been visited by her spouse, and that only once. No one knows how long he stayed in the hospital. As William was seen leaving the hospital, he came in from the back entrance. Kate Middleton seemed to be radiating health, and there was nothing to suggest that she would be hospitalized. However, the princess underwent abdominal surgery. She will spend just over two weeks in a London hospital, with Middleton needing another three months to recover. These days, spending up to two weeks in recovery in a hospital, even a private one, is becoming increasingly rare. But it gives hope to the fact that it was a planned operation, not an emergency, the expert said. According to the specialist, this minimized the possibility of any unwanted complications. The operation was carried out calmly, in the presence of all available specialists working as a team without undue pressure. The Princess of Wales does not smoke, has a slim build, and certainly has the lowest possible risk for any type of surgery. Planned abdominal surgery in women in this age group is rare. It may involve removal of appendicitis or gallstones, Martin noted. These surgeries are usually done by laparoscopy, through small punctures. The scars heal quickly and leave little or no mark on the body. Other patients in this age group may undergo a hysterectomy, Surgery may have been necessary because of ovarian cysts or to correct a hernia, Skur said. These conditions can develop even in young, trim women. It is common to return to work within two to three weeks after such surgeries. However, the specialist, if possible, would recommend a similarly long rehabilitation period as Kate's. If she were my wife and undergoing any of the above procedures, I would insist on the same. General anesthesia and abdominal surgeries of any nature take weeks to allow for good healing. For a mother of three with a busy professional life, a smooth recovery is certainly important, the doctor added. The palace did not provide further details, but confirmed that her condition was non-cancerous. While Kate is generally noted for her good health, she was previously hospitalized during her pregnancy when she suffered from severe morning sickness. There's no official statement from the palace either. A banal, Princess Catherine is fine, she is recovering and sends her best wishes to everyone, even without details, would have reassured the public a bit. But reports from aides and palace staff who say the future queen will work even while lying down only serve to fuel rumors. She is expected to spend another week in the hospital before being moved to Adelaide Cottage in Windsor to recuperate from surgery. And although all of the princess's major engagements have been postponed until after Easter, she still plans to do some of her work from bed. 
Prince William has also gone over his schedule to spend more time with Kate and the children. He has postponed his overseas trips and is focusing on his parenting duties. The insider revealed that Kate and William are now putting family first and day-to-day -day work second as they try to maintain a sense of normalcy for 10-year-old Prince George, 5-year-old Louis, and their 8-year-old girl, Princess Charlotte. Since the children don't have a nanny, the children are now being taken care of by their father. The palace said Kate, wife of Prince William, would like to apologize for postponing her upcoming meetings. The Princess of Wales understands the interest this statement will generate, the palace said. She hopes the public will understand her desire to maintain as much normalcy as possible for her children, as well as her wish for her personal medical information to remain private. The Princess of Wales's relatives have also surrounded the children with their attention. Kate is very close to her parents, Carol and Michael Middleton, as well as her sister Pippa and brother James. They all live in the county of Berkshire, not far from the residence of the royal couple, Adelaide Cottage at Windsor Castle. Kate's family spends time with the children so they don't feel abandoned. George, Charlotte, and Louis love to visit their grandparents' house. Carol and Michael enjoy taking their grandchildren for sleepovers when circumstances allow. Kate's family, who live nearby, will be on hand to support her recovery after she returns to her home in Windsor, the insider reported. Prince William, for his part, has postponed a number of upcoming events and will not be performing any official duties while his wife is in hospital, The Guardian reported. Moreover, he is not expected to perform any official duties while Kate recovers. Prince William has postponed two overseas trips indefinitely and some appointments to be near Kate and the children. The princess appreciates the public's concern and Prince William's action. She hopes the public will understand her desire to ensure her children have a normal childhood while she recovers and the Prince of Wales takes care of George, Charlotte, and Louis. She also wants information about the nature of the operation to remain confidential. Kensington Palace will periodically provide updates on Kate Middleton's health status. The Princess of Wales wants to apologize to everyone for having to postpone meetings and upcoming events. She hopes to catch up as soon as possible, concluded Kate Middleton's spokesperson. Their office will provide a revised schedule of Williams' meetings in due course, reports the knowledgeable Daily Mail. However, in light of this news, it can be assumed that the Prince's visit to Rome, scheduled for this spring, will be postponed. Kate Middleton fans' reaction. Royal fans expressed their support for Prince William's wife. Wishing the princess a speedy recovery, they said, sending all healing energy in her direction. We're worried. Get well soon.